Well guys, with the summer here, the channel has been an awful lot about RC stuff lately, particularly with my quads and stuff, but I have been working on electronics in the background. I thought it was time that I do an update on my Arduino and electronics kits where I store all my prototyping stuff. A while back I did a video on this kit, but it's expanded significantly since then. This is the one where I keep a lot of the Arduino goodies in. In this corner I keep mainly the Arduinos themselves. I keep programmers, I won't go ahead and get all these out, but the basics are I keep Pro Minis, Nanos, um, some AT Tiny sockets and chips and all other like teensies and you name it, everything goes in here. This is where I can just grab a microcontroller really quick. I also have now, I haven't played with it on the channel, the Wemos D1. I think uh, Educates.tv put me on to these. ESP8266 base microcontrollers. Underneath I keep Unos. Related power cables, Wi-Fi cameras, light blue bean, backpacks for the Unos, uh, this is a Ethernet shield, all kinds of battery holders, you name it. Basically, this is where I begin prototyping. From there, I usually grab a breadboard. Can't have too many of these. Underneath it, I keep a bunch of different jumper cables. Front corner, I keep all kinds of jumpers. There's tons of them crammed in here, female to male, uh, female to female, male to male. This is, I just grab a handful and go and I can start prototyping. In the center is all kinds of mishmash. Nokia 5110 LCDs. I have tons of these. Can't have too many of these. I just absolutely love them. TFT displays, touchscreen displays, this fits on the Uno. I use those from time to time. Uh, some OLEDs, I love these I squared C OLEDs. You name it, it all goes here. Basically this is outputs. Um, every project I do pretty much has an LCD display now because they're so cheap, why not? I also have various sensors, float switches, uh, I, uh, SD card readers, um, you name it, all different sensors in here, piezo sensors. I did a more in-depth video on this. I can't go into it all because it'll truly take us all day. That's the basics of that kit. In the middle, uh, pots, LEDs, buzzers, remote controls, and this is my output bin for actuators, different sizes of servos, right up to the MG995s, big servos. Everything here if I want to control an output. One stop shop for starting the project. This kit you haven't seen before. I started this because, well, I outgrew the first box. This is where the more specialized equipment lives. Up in the corner here, I have relays. Tons and tons of relays. Uh, can't have too many of those. Like, an ongoing theme on this channel. Can't have too many. Solid state relay. You've seen a video on the channel on that. Uh, a dosing pump, a peristaltic pump, pretty handy for some projects. You name it. Uh, printer paper for my thermal printer that I use with the Raspberry Pi or the, um, oh, I can't even remember the Wi Fi controller that I use on that anymore. The electric imp. NRF modules, I'm going to use these on a whole bunch of different projects upcoming. DHT11 temperature and humidity sensors. There's a heck of a pile of them in there along with some soil moisture sensors. I use those on my urban kitchen garden project you've seen on the channel here. PIR sensors. I want to do some home automation and home security so I have a whole bunch of those in there. Like I say I won't go ahead and get all these out because it just take too long. In here we have uh, different readers for uh, uh, MI Fair, the My Fair cards, um, a PC Duino. I haven't even used it ever, but maybe I'll have a project upcoming. Alcohol sensors, gas sensors, 433 megahertz transmitters, a lot of specialty equipment. Uh, ESP8266 Wi Fi, logic level converters, opticouplers. So if I have to interface into like a home circuit, I can opticouple everything so that it's isolated. 
Uh, electric Imp Wi-Fi module. So it's a standalone Wi-Fi microcontroller. They work really good. Arduino Mega. Only reason it's not in the Arduino box is because it doesn't fit in the bins. On that note, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove two of these bins and 3D print a one single bin. Uh, probably for the other case because my extra large breadboards don't fit in these in any of these containers very well. And these extra large breadboards are actually super handy for slightly larger projects or just things you want to spread out. Like uh, here's my old uh, RC navigation light system that I use on RC planes. It's handy to spread things out so you can get a look at things individually. Uh, I just love these larger breadboards. They don't cost much more. This one is really specific. This bin, transistors, uh, haptic drivers for vibration motors, lipo chargers from Adafruit, different barometric sensors and stuff, a bunch more transistors. And under here is EMG muscle sensors. This is the really specialized bin. And pretty much the last bin, this is where I keep all my Raspberry Pi stuff that's not in use. A lot of it's out in the Educase project that I've been working on, my Hackaday 2016 finalist project. So I keep power supplies, cases, uh, more power supplies, um, Pi breakout boards, you name it. Everything Pi goes in here that's not currently in a project, but I find most of my Pi stuff is in use at all times. So generally not much gets to live in here. That is my two current project boxes where I keep everything. I know it wasn't a full in-depth look at everything because uh, it's just simply too much stuff buried in here and it would take forever to go through it one by one. I just hope it gives some people a little bit of inspiration to put together their own kits. I love these portable kits. This box is just from my local Canadian tire hardware store. Uh, I keep everything kind of it makes sense to me where stuff is and generally I can find what I need and uh, grab it and go or when I'm shopping for parts and need to put together a project boom away I go really really simple I love it these are some of my prized possessions love these things good luck making stuff this week hit me up on social media I'd love to hear from you guys I will see you next video cheers